What are the panel's thoughts on Pat Sajak retiring? Who? Uh, it's of mine. I am agnostic on this issue. <laughs> <laughs> I think Biden should take a hint. Uh, <laughs> That's political talk show host and man trapped in an alternate reality, Bill Maher, suggesting that Biden take a cue from Pat Sajak and retire early. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish, and I've often said liberals are the party of unintended consequences. They'll vote based on short-sighted, performative, feel-good politics, then leave the country and future generations footing the bill. And nowhere is that more evident than immigration. If Biden loses this election, it's going to be because of two things. He's old and he can't get past that issue and people just hate that about him. And immigration. I mean, just on a political level, I don't think they could have handled it worse. Here's what Biden's doing. He's finally, after saying he couldn't do anything, he's going to issue an executive order. By the way, this is the same executive order Trump tried to get through the courts and they didn't let him do it. But he's going to finally try it six months before the election, which says we will put a cap of 2,500 now asylum seekers coming in. If it passes 2,500, if it's 2,501, then we automatically close the border. Fire Marshal says no more. We're going to, he's going to come here and close the club. And if you don't have a stamp on your hand, you can't get back in. Okay. But when it goes down to 1,500. Then we resume standard asylum procedures. It's like surge pricing with Uber. <laughs> it looks like a last minute, it looks like he did nothing, 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 nothing. And of course, he did try through Congress and the Republicans purposely spiked that football. They didn't want this bill because they wanted it as an issue. So they could have fixed it themselves, they didn't. But now it looks like this is his last minute before the election, Hail Mary pass, and it's not gonna succeed. Of course they'd spike it, Bill, that's politics. The deal sucked, and why should Republicans bail out Democrats for a problem they created right before an election? Especially when Democrats are doing everything they can to stop people voting for the Republican candidate, including trying to throw him in jail. It's ludicrous thinking. I mean, let's not forget this is the same guy who said he likes Gavin Newsom because he's a slick politician who knows how to play the game. This is the biggest refugee crisis in the Western Hemisphere ever. More than like 8 million Venezuelans, for example. That's a ton of well, people, he, and we're having <clears throat> 1,500 at border checkpoints that have no ability to process them. It's not going to work. So since January 2021, <clears throat> when Biden took office, more than 9 million migrants have entered. That's more than peop the people, number of people who live in Nicaragua. Wow. He let in all of Nicaragua. Equivalent. Yeah, and, and, uh, and, and, and like <laughs> the question that Democrats don't seem to be able to have the balls to answer is just how many is too many? Right. And like infinity is the answer. If you don't give that answer, you're a racist. That's their essential problem with this issue. Yeah, I, I read an article about <clears> this that really stuck with me. I think it was in Yuma, Arizona, where uh, the hospitals were so overrun that American sick people could not use the hospitals. Okay, we have school children who oh. can't get into their schools. This is a problem. It's chaos. And Trump, uh, Biden campaigned on reversing Trump's policy on the border. He reversed it, and now he's stuck with the consequences. Exactly. Trump had a plan to keep all these people out of our country while their asylum cases were being heard, and Biden proudly ended Remain in Mexico and bragged about it. Then, to make matters worse, all the underlings in his administration and Mayorkas went on TV and repeatedly lied for three years about how there was no crisis at the border, which was then echoed by establishment media pundits until it became politically advantageous to suggest otherwise, which is something Marr conveniently overlooked when listing the reasons Biden may lose in November. But that may be the biggest one of all. The guy does nothing but lie and gaslight the American people about his disastrous failures. He did it with the economy, and he's doing it with immigration. But let me know what you think. What do you think will hurt Biden the most during the election? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been NERC News. Thanks for watching. Bye!